Matt Foes, regional agronomist with 360 Yield Center here today again from the office. Kind of wanted to make a, a little bit of a synopsis of where we're at and what that might mean for 2016 with respect to the environment outside. As you know, it's been a very warm and somewhat wet winter so far this year. And so rather than plan from where we typically are, which is much colder and sometimes a little drier, let's plan for next year based on where we're at today. So if we think about it, you know, last fall, first 90% of the fall was very dry. We got out there, got harvested, got a lot of tillage done in really good conditions for breaking up compaction uh, with deep tillage. And then uh, also we buried a lot of residue early on. And, and while we were concerned at that point in time, because it was dry, we weren't really breaking down a lot of residue. Since then, we've gotten quite a bit of moisture. So if you think about the soil temperatures out there today, hovering thereabouts around 50 degrees, we still have the soil awake and working on that residue, breaking it down so that next, next spring, we have a little bit less of a carbon penalty to pay. So as we think about corn on corn or even soybeans planted into corn, they still pay the carbon penalty of having too much microbial activity sucking up all the nitrogen in the soil. As we think about some of the other imp impacts of this warm weather that we're having right now, think about the leachable nutrients. All the nitrogen that mineralized last fall uh, with, with all this rain has, has got a chance that it's going to go away. Uh, we've got some ammonia applications in the fall that could potentially need to be monitored as we go into spring uh, for for leaching of nitrogen. Same thing with AMS. If, you're, if you spread ammonium sulfate last fall for the value of the sulfur or the nitrogen counting towards 2016's crop, you want to kind of make sure we monitor that. We've been pretty warm. Both of those nutrients are very susceptible to leaching in the forms that they're going to be out there in. And we'll want to make sure that where we are next spring in May and early June is where we think we are. So testing for, for nutrients, whether that be soil testing, whether that be tissue testing, whatever you want to do, um, that'll be very important to make sure that we don't make a false assumption and, and hurt ourselves long term in 2016's yield. So with that in mind, I hope you enjoy the rest of the winter and stay warm and stay safe.